So hello everyone, we are diving into an exciting topic that's crucial for all aspiring pharmacists out there. This is very important for all the students who are looking into a pharmacy career and want to get admissions into the best colleges. Recently, the NIRF ranking has been released in India for 2024 and the list of top pharmacy colleges in India is available now. In this video, we would understand details such as eligibility, entrance, fee structure, campus placement as well as average salaries for the students from these top colleges. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and watch the video till the end so that you can understand a complete picture. Without further ado, let's start. So first and foremost, let us understand what exactly are the NIRF rankings. So NIRF stands for National Institutional Ranking Framework, which is a ranking method adopted by Ministry of Education Government of India to rank the institute based on their performance and their education in India. This particular framework uses parameters such as resources, research, stakeholder perception, and this is grouped into multiple clusters and assigned certain weightages. Now, depending upon the area of uh, operation, they are ranked under different 16 categories. And this particular year, 2024, three new categories have been introduced, which are best state universities, skill universities, and open universities. Now, this particular ranking is based on teaching, learning resources such as research, the professional practice, the graduation outcome, the employability, the outreach, the inclusivity and the perception. And this particular NIRF ranking was uh, declared on August 12, 2024 by the Education Minister of India. So whenever you choose career for the best colleges, you need to refer to this particular ranking as they do extensive research and provide you the best insights. So for the year 2024, these are the top five pharmacy colleges in India in which Jamia Hamdard has stopped the country. Okay, so it is ranked one followed by the uh, Naipur Hyderabad, uh, Bits Pilani, JSS uh, Pharmacy College UT and ICT Mumbai. So in this particular video, we will look at these colleges one by one and let us understand what exactly are all the parameters which will help you to choose the best pharmacy college that is suitable for you and your career. So at the rank one is Jamia Hamdard Delhi. So in this particular college, there are uh, multiple courses offered after 12th, that is 10 plus 2 education. So which is a B pharmacy for four years and M pharmacy for two years. The intake capacity for the B pharmacy course is 120 seats, whereas for the M pharmacy course is 77 seats. Now the total uh, fee structure for B pharmacy would be 5.5 to 8.8 .8 lakhs. Now that depends upon whether you stay in the university hostel or outside and it varies around courses to courses. For the M Pharmacy, the total cost uh, for the M Pharmacy course would be 4.5 lakhs. When it comes to placement and salaries, the average salaries anywhere range around 3.5 to 4.9 lakhs per annum. And eligibility to enter the, the B Pharmacy course would be 10 plus 2 education along with the entrance such as NEED, JE uh, for the paper one. Now, if you see the uh, overview, you need at least 50% of the marks to qualify for this particular uh, B Pharmacy course. The, the acceptable entrance exam are such as NEET. Okay, they do not have the proprietary entrance exam. And when it comes to economics, the, uh, the tuition fee would be anywhere around 5.8 to 8.8 .8 lakhs. And the return on investment, the average salary package that this uh, college campus placement can provide is anywhere around 4.3 to 4.9 lakhs. So these are the figures that are posted uh, by the NRF and Jamia Hamdar, as you know, is one of the best institutions and that is why they have ranked top in the country. So if you are uh, looking to enter into this uh, particular courses for your pharmacy career, this is the best college. Now let us look at rank two, that is Naipur Hyderabad. So Naipur offers only two courses. So it does not offer B pharmacy course. It has M pharmacy course, which is for two years and also a PhD in pharmacy. The intake capacity for the M pharma is 182 seats. And uh, there are multiple M pharmacy courses for different uh, streams. The total fee structure for M pharmacy would be uh, 1 lakhs. Okay, so that is the entire for the two years. When it comes to placement and salaries, the average salary range anywhere around 6 to 8.5 uh, lakhs per annum. 
Now, when it comes to eligibility for the N Pharma course, so you need to have B Pharma with a G Pad, Gate, and even Niper JE. You have to qualify. You need at least 60% in your graduation. And when it comes to return on investment, so the tuition fee would be anywhere around 94.6k. That is nearly around uh, one lakh for the two years. And the average package uh, would be around 8.8 uh, .8 lakhs. Okay. So this is the average figure. So you can consider Niper Hyderabad for your M Pharmacy. And if you're looking to do a career in PhD, okay. Also, uh, there are uh, multiple streams offered for your M Pharmacy. And that is why we have a whopping 182 seats. So you can check this particular uh, institute out if you're looking to do an M Pharmacy career. Now next we have at rank 3 is Bits Pilani. Now Bits Pilani offers a B Pharmacy as well as M Pharmacy and the duration is the standard everywhere. The intake capacity for B Pharma course is 72 seats and when it comes to M Pharma that is 68 seats. The total cost for B Pharmacy course would be 19.9 lakhs and when it comes to N Pharmacy it would be 9.26 lakhs. Now that is now this figures are for the entire duration for 4 years and 2 years respectively. When it comes to placement and salary, so Bits Pilani has the best figures. That is the average salary ranges from 7.8 to 11 lakh per annum. When it comes to B Pharmacy entrance eligibility, it would be around 10 plus 2 with a minimum of 75% aggregate. Please make sure that it is not 50 or 60%. You need to have 75% in your boards. Along with that, they have their proprietary entrance that is Bitsat. So when it comes to eligibility, you need to qualify Bitsat along with 75% in your respective boards. When it comes to return on investment, so the total uh, tuition fee would be 19.9 lakh. When it comes to B Pharmacy and the average package would be would be anywhere around 10 lakhs. So uh, if you're looking for an institute which offers the best campus placement, the best support, then Bits, had, uh, Bits has been uh, doing really well and they have a very good figures. So you can check this particular uh, institute out and look if you can afford that kind of fees and that kind of uh, institutions. So at rank four, we have JSS College of Pharmacy in OT. This particular institute uh, offers uh, again uh, B Pharmacy as well as M Pharmacy courses. And these are for four and two years respectively. The intake capacity for B Pharma uh, course would be 105 seats for multiple streams. And for M Pharmacy, they have 90 seats. Again, there are multiple streams. The total fee year would be 5.8 lakhs for B Pharmacy and 5.01 lakh for M Pharmacy. When it comes to placement and salary, the average range is anywhere around 7.8 to 8.4 uh, lakhs per annum. And eligibility to get into the B Pharmacy career would be 10 plus 2 uh, education with minimum 50 to 60 percent uh, in your boards. And again, uh, they accept the JSS uh, AHER uh, undergraduate entrance examination. And for PG, they have separate PG entrance examination. So if you are looking to uh, get into JSS College of Pharmacy UT, so these are uh, the details and you can check this particular institute out. Finally, at rank 5, we have Institute of Chemical Technology Mumbai, that is ICT Mumbai. Again, ICT Mumbai offers uh, 4 years B Pharma and 2 years M Pharma course. For B Pharma, they have limited 30 seats and for M Pharma, they have even lesser 24 seats. Again, they focus very well along teaching and quality. So the total fee due, uh, for B Pharma would be 4.9 lakhs and M Pharma would be 1.5 lakhs. So the fee structure is also average and economical. When it comes to placement, again, they have good figures, uh, which is 4.7 to 7.6 lakhs per annum. And when it comes to eligibility and entrance, uh, they require 10 plus 2 uh, minimum completed. And they accept uh, MHT CET, that is Maharashtra CET, as well as the NEET. Uh, so eligibility would be they require minimum of 45 to 50 percent marks in your 10 plus 2 along with your uh, good numbers in the MHT CET or the need when it comes to return on investment. So the average tuition fee would be anywhere around 3.5 lakhs per annum. Okay. And depending upon if you stay at hostel or whatever the facility you take, it can range anywhere around 4.9 lakhs. Okay, now the average salary package here is 7.6 lakh. So that is a very good number, so which means that NCT, uh, ICT Mumbai offers good quality education along with they focus on the campus placements also. So thank you for watching this video till the end. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you such amazing video and help you build your career. Thank you.